Welcome back, everybody, to Strale Venenta in Notria, the last song. I am the preacher, and I am glad you are here. I thought, because I am almost positive this is the final battle, and I might be wrong, but don't I have the story? Let's take a look at this real quick. And so the tale begins with the picturesque town of Quinta. Delve deeper within it and seek answers at the castle atop the hill. Zanny must fall for the future to come. Whatever the Academy of Theater once was, it's... Wicked Husk cannot remain any longer. Zanny has fallen. How sad this tale was in the end. Forever longing for approval. Well, the path forward is now clear. You must enter the theater that resides below Zanny's fateful arena. Our first target should be Elysia Magna, through the gates of the Sunflower Field. Welcome to the sun-bleached shores of Elysia Magna, a once popular destination for travelers seeking an escape. It is now a war-torn state with two factions locked. An eternal strife. Spaventus Tower looms over you, a twisted monument of falsehood. Climb it and bring down the meridian sun. The great city of Latumnia, the focal point of the pursuit of knowledge at all costs. Now it stands haunted by its twisted patrons as the eternal storm rages on. Pantalone of endless greed, Balanzon of ravenous pursuit for knowledge. The two men remain at the helm of the fallen city, endlessly squabbling over scraps. Reach the Astrarium and submit their resignation. The end is nigh. Strale Valenta, the shattered remains of the once great Elsa, ripple out before you. Messinante, the god of wealth. You found Messinante's... Messinate's medallion and freed the god as well as his unlikely compatriot, the merchant. Two minds, a single twisted body. The goal is clear. Lift the curse and free them from their prison of flesh. With each step, the curse weakens. The merchant's resolve seems bolstered. You must press on. The end is in sight. The curse is gone, yet so is the merchant. It was foolish of him to believe a god could concern, would concern himself with anything but his own well-being. There is a price to pay for trusting blindly as shown by the god of wealth. Maya, goddess of life and death, she will observe your path of change in the theater. The goddess of life gave birth to undeath. Maya's damnable choice to break the cycle led to unspeakable consequences. Yet there is a glimmer of hope. Maya was the one to love all beings, yet she could never love herself. You are helping her to find acceptance. Maya's rod is finally dwindling, her purity restored. No, bettered. Her power is returning, yet how she wield, wields it is entirely different. Through your adventures, she has found humility and forgiveness for the one who needed it most, herself. Veltha, the deity of strife. Though she put up a mighty fight, history speaks of a time when the entire empires arose and fell with the swing of her wrathful blade. Not even kin were safe. A goddess of war who once ruled the entire land, she was revered by the most powerful empire this world had ever seen. She raised the very cliffs of Felicia away from water after a bitter feud with her brother, the god of the seas. Many legends speak of her, faded on the rocky murals of this land. One thing is for certain, the Veltha you met has lost trust even in those closest to her, becoming isolated and weakened. You alone can show her that there is strength in numbers. And last of all, Letho, the god of secrets, we've already read that. Oh, there are! Okay, this is just the, you could read the chapters, or you could read the whole thing all at once. That's what's going on. Okay, good. Well, we've read the story, and now it's time to end the story. Let's go up and see what lies before us. There is... What do we got? Strali Valeta. The city of Elsa, well past the point of being recognized as a glorious boon of a prosperous and fertile land, has been affected by the Canavazio the most. What was once verdant is now pernicious. What was once rooted in the earth now reigns over a twisted sky, trapped in the eternal delusion of a newfound master. With everything trapped in a world doomed to stagnation and decay, Arlecchino sealed everyone's fate, including his own. Centuries have passed, and no one has seen Arlecchino since. Albeit supposedly vanished, the author's grip is still tight and ever-present over Enotria. The Suspended Throne. Okay. I can read all of that later, perhaps, if I will or if I won't. I don't know. But it's time to face what is no doubt Arlecchino. Let's go. Ah, the swirling maelstrom of creation. Magnificent. 
Is it not? Now. Time for your final oh. act. He flies. Arlecchino, the master of Canavaccio. All right. Oh, he does not take a lot of damage. Oh, he can parry me. That's good. Okay. Is that fear oh. I sense? Yes. Oh, I better, I better heal. All right, go get him, boys. A private performance, just for you. Wow, he does not an insignificant amount of damage with that sword. Okay, hold on, heal. All right, go get him, boys. I grow weary of this. Me too. Oh, what is this? Not good. Don't do it. Oh. He's got the power. Camera was messed up. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's try the... Oh, no. Let's heal. Hot hits. I don't think. No, no. No. Ooh, ooh. I'm, I'm, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Dance for me. Just parried me. I said so, Maker. How unfortunate. Ooh, he is parrying. Hey. Okay. You twist. Oh, there is. There's got to be a. Let's do some buffs. Enough games. Uh, I don't know what I'm drinking, but uh, oh, oh, I don't like that. Okay. Okay, now he's doing what the other guy did. He's teleporting. I don't like that. Please don't teleport. Oh, he healed himself, too. Oh, doggone it. Okay. The stage is set. Don't do it again. No, 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 no. Oh, Poppy. Poppy. Oh. I can't see. I can't see. We're going to switch. Okay. I don't know if I can be poisoning him or not, but I want to try. Ow. Stop. Nope, nope, nope. Go to my vision. Restore. Okay, well that wasn't horrible, but he does heal himself halfway through, so I really should save, it looks, like, um, what's it called? The, um, I'll tell you what was really good. 
was the, the, the harpoon. That's what it was. So let's put the harpoon. I want to put the harpoon on all three, just in case I, I'm switching around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Load outs. Okay, who are we replacing with? The, okay, now these are good. That's really good, too. Um... Ooh, that's really powerful, but with uh, Viz, Fatuo, or Gratia Orbs. Let's do the Viz, and I want to put, I want to put that on there. Oh, gosh, you know what, though? If I can get, if I can get that loaded up, the Solar Barrage, that should be good, right? And I do have the Harpoon on both of those. Okay. You know what? We're going to be good. We're going to be good. I think so. Let's go do it again. That was fun. It's an interesting fight. There's quite a bit going on. Um, I've got a lot of stuff here, so I might as well use it, right? I didn't mean to do that. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, let's heal. Alright. I sense your maker. How unfortunate for you. Me too. A lucky blow. Nice. Okay, let's poison this boy. A great sigh of fool. Pitiful. Ooh! Don't parry me! I don't like this. Okay. Go ahead and dodge. And... Nope, nope, heal, heal. Okay. Go ahead and dodge the jump attack. Oh, no, no, no. Now what are you doing? I don't like it. Oh, I don't like this. Hey, where you at? Oh. 
Okay. No, no, no. Go ahead and heal. Oh, gosh, I'm leaning back in my seat. This is pretty intense. Okay. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to. And got to. I got to practice parrying this guy. I think parrying is where it's gonna be at. The stage is set. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and heal up. Yeah, I don't like it. Hey. Okay, go ahead. I know there's a stage two to this, but what is it? Okay. Dog on it. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Come on. Come on, where you at? It's the teleporting I don't like. Okay, nope. And finish that. We're getting close. Come on and finish this. Come on and finish this. Nope. Oh. I was getting close. All right. Once again, running around. Trying to figure some things out. I should have switched. All right, let's try it again. I see no reason not to. Let's go. I am going to use up all of my potions. I don't even remember what Scholar's Masterpiece does, but who cares? This is stamina or something. Let's go. I've got the consumables. I might as well use the consumables. That's my current thinking. Come on. Don't be doing that. Fear, I sense. Yes. What cruel craftsmanship. Okay. Let's heal up. All right. I grow weary of this. Hey, that did nothing. I said so, Maker. How unfortunate for you. You sense my Maker, huh? Don't do it.
Okay. Okay, let's get him knocked out a little bit. A lucky blow. Yeah, somebody else told me that once before, too. Okay, you can take this. Enough games. Okay, you're doing that again. Where are you at? And what are you do? Oh, this is new. I don't remember this. Oh, yeah, I do. I have no idea how to dodge that. Maybe I have to uh, carry it. Well, okay. This is fine. Let's go in this time with this one. Let's just see. We're just going to try it. We're just going to try it. Now, here's Elixir. Warrior's Brew. Well, sure, let's throw a fruit of failure at him. That is not what I wanted to do. I keep healing. <sighs> Triggering the accidental everything. What crude craftsmen. Okay, heal again. A private performance. Just. Is that fear I sense? Yes. I grow weary of this. Okay. Okay, let's get some stamina back. A grace, nope. Okay, down, 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 down. There we go. Still susceptible to poison, I see. Okay, roll out of the way. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't do it. Oof. I'm only alive by a whisker. Silly like that, huh? Where are you at? No, 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 no. Oh, pop. Pop. Okay, let's see. Okay. Stage one. Oh. No! No! How could... It is impossible. Yeah, it's stage Such one. Such imitation crude. Pulcinella. You always were destined for my shadow. 
This is not your victory. Fool! A performance for the ages, my dear friend. Yeah, they A do. standing ovation for the overture to the new world. Now, let us conclude this messy affair. Reach out! My power crippled by a script I did not write. I had no choice, you see. Naught but twisted mirror held to his corrupted visage could end this tragic tale. And oh, so no. I toiled and tried time and time again. The sole thing I had aplenty, maker, maid, and mold stand here. A vessel to begin anew, a salve for this wounded world. Now, reach out, fulfill your purpose, dear friend. And what purpose? Actor unmasked. Okay, I got Arlequino's role together with his stuff. Okay. Hmm. I go on. Do not waver now. Our plan is almost complete. There's much yet to do. Sacrifice and give Arlequino a chance to a new what? What am I doing? I was thought I was talking. Much yet to do. What? Wait, wait, wait. I guess there it is. Something tells me I got the bad ending. I don't know what to tell you. So let me try to think of a few things about Enotria. It was a very compelling game. The brightness of it was a nice refresh from your typical dark gray taupe uh, world of uh, a soul's like. They're all kind of bleak. This was much less bleak in visual appearance. It was a visually beautiful game. From the very beginning where you open up and you look out onto a field of sunflowers and you look out there and you... Uh, it, it was beautiful. The sun washed uh, ground and, and the light reflecting off of the buildings. It was very beautiful. And so they set out to build a sunlight souls, and that's exactly what they did. I think visually, all the way throughout, it was pretty doggone good. I did my best in my first blind playthrough to be able to accomplish as much of the game as I could. I would guess, if I were to say, I probably hit about 95% of it. Some of you that have done better than this before, you might be able to post down below and tell me what you think I was able to accomplish. But um, I'll probably be revisiting Enotria again. In fact, almost assuredly, I'm probably going to do a second playthrough just to uh, just to enjoy it without having to record it. So that's something that uh, that is probably in my future. Let's see what else would I say. Uh, there was a plentitude of weapon types. As a heavy weapon guy, I quickly found the things that I really gravitate towards, and I would have liked to have seen some nice, slow and fast. There were some swords, but even the regular straight swords, they didn't seem super fast like a dagger would. And I didn't, at least I don't remember seeing any daggers. Uh, let's see, the mix of having to have one element stronger than the next element and all the way around in a circle took me a long time to figure that out because I'm slow on the uptake. Thank you, Blind Playthroughs, for the uh, reminders a couple of times for that. And uh, that was quite unique. I enjoyed that. I loved the custom of the customizability of the loadouts that are attached to the mask and so you could have three loadouts ready to go at a given notice and zip between them that was really cool i appreciated that um enemy variety maybe not huge on the enemy variety front but that would have only been a problem if the game was much larger than it was um yeah i, I really think that there was a there was a good saturation for enemies throughout the game there were a couple of areas you walked through and you thought hmm, there's not even a minor enemy here but that's okay. Um, it, it kind of, in one way or another, helps to 
elevate the expectation that I had. There were a couple of areas that I would consider uh, not quite well balanced. Um, some of the, the, oh gosh, what was the one fight with the gatekeeper um, in that little enclosed room? That I thought was a little unbalanced. Um, probably due to my <laughs> poor skills, you know. Uh, I am the preacher who plays poorly, and that's exactly what is going on. But well done to the studio that produced Inotria, the last song. I think they did good. And they leave room right there for Inotria 2. And I'll be excited to see if that does come down the line at some point in time. So I would love to hear some of your thoughts. You can put them down in the comments below. I'm going to let the um, rest of these credits scroll by. Pulcinella was Tomokazu Sujita. Yeah. Oh, those are the voice actors from Japan. Okay, sorry. I was a little surprised that didn't sound like that name matched the voice that I was hearing. But overall, very good. I'm going to let this run. If there, oh, are we at the end? Golly, I talked long enough. We are apparently at the end. So I'm going to sign off here, unless there's a sudden scene at the end. <laughs> and I'll say thank you so much for joining me. I am the preacher. Let the credits roll. And I will see you the very next time. Is there more? Do you want to start new game cycle? One, you will not be able to return. B for no. You can always start it later from any reality. Not. Yeah, nope. I'm probably going to end up uh, trying to do some other cleanup. As I said, I'm the preacher. And I will see you the very next time. <laughs>